In today's video, we'll take a fascinating introductory dive into the world of Leonardo AI. Leonardo AI is an advanced AI art generator that provides many tools for creating stunning images. Perhaps you're a teacher wanting to welcome kids back to school with a fancy video, a YouTube content creator needing artwork for a video, or want to add a little pizzazz to your next presentation. Leonardo AI will help you make it happen through the power of AI. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. To get started, visit leonardo.ai and select the Launch App button on the right. You can sign up using Apple, Google, or a Microsoft account, or create a new account with an existing email address. Once logged in, you'll see a list of community creations on the right, additional options on the left, and various tools at the top. We'll jump in and start creating our first image by clicking the Image Creation button. A brief tutorial will show you around the interface. In this section, you enter a prompt. A prompt is text input that you'll type in to tell the AI to generate a specific response. It's used to guide the AI in producing the type of artwork that you want it to generate. Once a prompt has been entered, click the Generate button to create your images. Notice the button states 24 tokens will be required based on the default selection. With a free account, you're given 150 tokens each day, which resets once per day. However, you can upgrade the free account to a paid account, which will provide many more advanced features and more tokens. On the left, we have presets, which describes the type of images Leonardo AI will create. We'll take a closer look at that in a few moments. Some presets will allow you to upload an image that will be used by the AI as a reference of what you want to create. You can also use the prompt generator to improve your prompt or create a random prompt. If you need to go through the tutorial again, you can click the question mark button. We can also see at the top we have 150 tokens for the day to create our images. Let's go ahead and get started. If we click the drop down under presets, we'll see several that are available. One that I find to be the most impressive is the Phoenix preset. However, there are additional presets for images that look like stock photography, portraits, illustrative concept art, anime, and more. Simply select the preset you want to try out. I'll select lifelike vision. Next, we'll enter a prompt to tell the AI what type of image we want to create. I'll enter lifelike frog about to catch a fly with its tongue. I'll set the preset style to 3D render, which will resemble a 3D model of the frog. Any options that have this purple diamond icon will require a paid account to use them. Those that don't show the diamond icon can be changed. For example, one I do wish you could change in the free account is the number of images generated. It's hard set to four, which means you'll always see four generated images each time you click the generate button. Another important note is that all images you create automatically become public with a free account. With a paid account, your images can be set for private so only you can see them. Under image dimensions, many of the settings can be adjusted with the exception of the large option. You can also drag the slider to make the image wider or taller depending on your desired use. I'll set it at 16 by 9, which is ideal for this YouTube video. Now I'll click the Generate button, and after about 15 seconds, we'll see images that the AI came up with based on our changes. And here's a few of the images that were created. Below the image is an icon to download the image, copy it to the clipboard, remove the background, and upscale the image. However, upscaling is a paid feature. I made various other changes to the prompt, which then resulted in these interesting results. Next, I'd like to show you the community creations. If you click the Leonardo.ai image in the upper left, it'll take you to the main screen. All of the images shown in this section were created by other users, and it's pretty amazing that this type of thing is even possible. The images created with Leonardo.ai can save countless hours of trying to create them yourself. 
Additionally, the images that are generated may be used for private as well as commercial use. However, like was mentioned earlier, if you're using the free account, all the images become public and can be used or remixed by anybody. If you're interested in creating images that are private to you only, you'll need to upgrade to a premium account. The prices are reasonable and billed annually. The least expensive is $120 US dollars per year and provides 8,500 tokens per month and unlocks more features. And the prices go up from there. Going back to the community creations, let's just pick this random image of a Mandalorian. It looks pretty cool, but maybe I want to change the colors of the armor. If I select it, I can see the prompt, plus all the settings that were used, including the seed number for the image. The seed is basically a unique ID or starting point for image generation within an AI model. If I want to modify an existing image, I can simply click the Remix button. Make any changes, such as changing the red and gold armor to maybe green and red. Then regenerate the image. Here are the results. Impressive. Most impressive. Now that we've seen some of the basics, let's dive in a bit deeper. I've entered a more detailed prompt that describes a spaceship, a ring planet, and thrusters with a bluish-white tint. The more detail you add to the prompt, the more accurate of an image the AI will be able to generate. Prompt engineering makes a huge difference in the image results. There are many great resources on the internet to help with improving your prompts. I'll change the preset from lifelike vision to Leonardo lighting. Below that are additional preset styles that you can select that will alter how the image is rendered, such as ray traced, sketches, and many others. I'll leave it set for dynamic for now. Under advanced settings, you can change the AI model. These models were trained with various different types of images to allow further control over the generated image. I'll leave it set for the Leonardo Lighting XL model. You can also add a negative prompt of things you don't want to see in the image. Remove the background of the image, as long as you don't specify anything in the background within your prompt, and there are a few more options. Now let's say I like the prompt that I entered, but I'd like the AI to expand on it further beyond what I already told it. Clicking this icon will improve your prompt using AI to provide even more details. You can then modify the results if needed. Clicking the image icon in the upper left of the prompt will allow you to select a reference image for the style, or you can click the view more under elements and select an element of a different style. For example, there are options for line art, modern photography, and so many more. Pick the one that is a good fit for what you're looking for. I'll go ahead and select glow wave then click Generate, and here are the results. I really like the look of this image, and this one too. Amazing how in just a few seconds you can go from a concept in the form of a text prompt to such a detailed image. Let's try the Leonardo Phoenix preset with a preset style of cinematic using the same exact prompt. Now when we click Generate, we'll see an entirely different style of artwork that is more realistic and reminiscent of something you might see on a movie poster or in a futuristic sci-fi film. We'll now try a preset of Illustrative Albedo with a preset style of game concept art. I really like this image. As you can see, by changing the presets, preset styles, elements, and more, you can create vastly different renditions of your original prompt. There is so much more you can do with Leonardo AI for example, let's go back to the main screen and select Motion. Select the image you want to animate. I'll pick this one. I'll adjust the motion strength a little higher. Then click Generate, and here's what it came up with. You can then use this in your own video productions, presentations, home movies, or simply share it on social media. I realize some are going to look at this and think the free version is plenty useful for me. They are likely right. If you don't need an image right away, don't care if your image becomes public, 
and fine with creating four to six sets of images per day, that may be plenty for most people. There are other free options as well, such as the Copilot feature built into Windows 11. It can also be used to generate images for free. There are a few reasons why I'm making this video. First off, the folks at Leonardo provided me with a limited license to try it out for the purpose of making a video. I've been using it for several months, and in fact used it to create many of the background images used in some video thumbnails and even some of the artwork within the videos. Not all, but I'll demonstrate a few examples in a bit. You can create some impressive images. Not only that, but brief videos as well. For example, I didn't hire a graphic artist to create the intro segment that you see here. It's never been shown in any prior videos until now. I actually kind of like it and considering using it in the future. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Should I use it or stick with the man-made version? I honestly feel lazy letting AI do some of the work for me. The intro scene in many of my videos was hand-drawn by my daughter, animated and colorized by me, and has been in use for several years and literally took a few weeks to create. AI created this in about 20 seconds. It's a bit scary when you stop and think about it. Here's another image that was created with Leonardo. I thought it looked pretty interesting, so I asked Leonardo to animate it, and here's what it came up with. One of my recent videos was for a Raspberry Pi 5 kit. It was called the Mars Kit, and while I'm sure NASA wouldn't mind if I used one of their images, instead I used Leonardo for the background surface of Mars. Here's the original image, and here's the final composite thumbnail for the video. This video was created simply because I thought it was cool. No other reason. Here's another example. While it's funny that you see two images of the mouse on the desk, I obscured the second with the pinball cabinet. In this image, you see one of the kids playing his retro gaming console, while the other one on the left is just sitting there with no controller in his hand. The scene was easily fixed by slapping a Raspberry Pi 5 over the kid on the left to make it look like he was joining in on the gameplay. I hope you found something useful in this video. If you did, I would appreciate it if you let me know by clicking the like button. If you want to see more content like this in the future, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And with that, I look forward to talking with you again very soon.